So let's see who gets a treat. Shale and Ryden and Agate and Yaba. Linda Newman lives in the wilderness in the far northeastern corner of the state with her 23 companions. It's every single day, all year round, the dogs. She owns Points Unknown, a sled dog adventure tours and lodging business. She specializes in four-day empowerment retreats for women. It's all about communing with nature and the dogs. I've got a rare line of traditional Alaskan Husky called a Headland Husky. Uh, they are different to racing dogs. They were developed purpose-bred for um, trap line teams in Alaska and subsistence living. In winter, they usually pull sleds. This winter, I don't even know. I, I'm speechless at the moment. That's because there's been record low snow, only about 20 some inches all winter. This time last year, we had, oh gosh, well over 150 inches. Um, at this point, you couldn't see out the windows here, you know, totally booked for the holidays. And, and uh, so we had to chop and change really fast. We are the lowest snowfall we've ever had to date at this time at least since the first U.S. recorded history in the 1880s. It is absolutely strange, especially since last year we broke our record for the maximum amount of snowfall. So just to have that whiplash, and all that's caused by El Nino. Warm equatorial waters that kind of disrupt the jet stream and cause it to sink much more south than our area and basically takes away all of our moisture sources and keeps us warm. This is the starting point of the Gunflint Mail Run Dog Sled Race. There is some snow today, but locals say it still would not have been enough to have saved the race this year. They run by, they do a big turnaround further up the trail. White Pine Lodge on Poplar Lake has a prime view of the mail run race. When it was canceled, local businesses banded together to host a scavenger hunt and bonfire. I've handed out more like summer hiking maps um, than ever before, obviously. And so we're just telling people to go out there and do what you would in the, in the summer. On the Gunflin Trail, businesses that make their money off the snow are feeling the heat. How much has it been down? We're probably going to say 50% or better from last year, at least January was. The lodge has been in Parsons' family since 1970. Thankfully, he says, they've been able to roll over some cancellations to next year. It's definitely an impact because we're just not having the number of people. We're not getting the daily traffic coming in uh, to the bar and restaurant and buying gas. And, you know, we're having like no snowmobile rentals yet this season. People that had already booked to come up here mostly are coming. But, you know, the phone's not ring, ringing like it normally would do. And that means pivot, like riding behind a Clydesdale horse. What we try to do is find things for people to do. You know, if you're not going to be able to snowmobile, can we get the sleigh rides out, right? If you're not going to be able to ski, can we get the skates out? So, you know, I think there's still lots of things to do up here. It's just, it's different things. These cousins weren't deterred. They booked their points unknown trip last fall. Who would think that you wouldn't have snow right now in early February in almost Canada? I wasn't really disappointed. Yeah. I still wanted to get the experience with the dogs and just learn more about um, sled dogs and see the place out here and be off grid. What they learned instead was how to outfit and ride a UTV pulled by the dogs and hike through a river canyon on a secret trail to a frozen waterfall. Memories to last a lifetime were included.